It's a crisp Sunday morning down here in the new workshop. We're just about to get ready for a day's work inside of Cork City. I'm going to be giving another traditional hand tool demonstration inside the marina market. I did a lot of this kind of stuff over summer, uh, thinking that the season had fully ended, so I put away all my stuff down here. But now I've got to crack it back out again for one more day's use before the winter season really sets in. So I need to put out the trailer I bought there at the start of summer and load it up with all my shave horse, my workbench and some hand tools. I think I'm going to put a handle on an axe today, you know, good old fashioned reliable thing to show off. But before we go anywhere, I've got some bird seed and some water for the flightless pigeon that lives in the shed next door. I've decided to call him Vincent and we're going to pay him a visit. I haven't seen him now in two days, so I hope he's alright. He likes to hide away in his box, so I think that could be him. You Vincent, you look like Vincent, he's kind of got a funny little beak going on. How are you liking that food and water we got you? Good man. Now I'm only going to give him a small bit of seeds. You don't do too much calorie burning with those useless wings of yours, do you? So we have the trailer loaded and we're just about ready for go. And you're not going to believe what's after happening. Vincent is after making his way under the car. See there now, but look there he is. Get out! It's all right lads, we managed to, to find him. Before you got run over, we put you back home, will we? So the car is fully loaded, Vincent is safe and sound at home. The only thing left to do now is head away. So it's these markets pretty much where I got my start into doing full time whatever it is I'm doing now. Uh, two odd years ago when I started posting on TikTok and the videos started getting a bit of traction. I was still working part time in a shopping centre uh, while studying commerce. So at that stage my videos had gotten a bit of traction. I was getting millions of views but we don't have the creator fund in Ireland so in spite of hundreds of millions of views I haven't made a cent from those views on TikTok. Um, so I was still working the part time job well over a million followers. Um, and then I got invited to some craft shows up the country and uh, they pay a couple of hundred quid for you to show up and do your demonstrations for a day. So I, uh, I was able to drop out of my part-time job during summer. I did go back to college then um, for a few months, but now we're, uh, we're a full-time content creator. But yeah, I have a lot, uh, a lot to owe these craft fairs and markets. Today's venue is super cool, it's the Marina Market. It's just on the docklands of Cork City where the old Ford factory used to be. It's a big old industrial building with a load of like uh, start-up food vendors. I'm sure you'll see in a minute anyway. Ooh, look at that starlet. Bit of a vintage car meet up today by the looks of it. So here we are now at the Marina Market. Unhitching the trailer. There we go, it's our first crash into a half barrel with flowers growing out of it. There's people training their dogs here now. Sorry with it. Actually I'm glad I used to see TikTok. Hello. Good, how are you? I feel like, did you ever see those little buggies, the red little carts people pull around with them? It's like children. There's a grown up version of that. There's a place over here that sells used vintage clothes and uh, my coat pockets have uh, have seen some better days, so maybe we might get ourselves something a bit newer. So I um I got that jacket, so this is the old one. Just put it straight on me. I think it's alright. No holes in the pockets as well, so be a bit respectable when I go to events. Also I'm back in my car to get uh, my cheating tools. Here we are now, all set up. I'm going to be using the draw knife here on the shave horse, shape with some axe handles. So we're working our way through this bog oak, it is very very hard stuff. A lot of it is rotted, but that's, that's good wood in there, we're going to see if we can cut it in half. Well, you're in it now anyway. Okay. 
place is really kind of quietly down now. I'm going to start packing up for the night. Uh, now so, see if we can get the trailer out without causing too much damage. Back to the workshop, see if we can do anything with that bog oak. But I really like that marina marketplace. They've recently just got planning permission to stay in operations there for the next five years. Which is great, but if you're ever down in Cork City, it's well worth checking out. Anyway, we're back at the workshop now to look at some more walls we were building. Here we are now, back at the workshop. It took a bit of what I'm going to call mechanical persuasion, but we got our nice little 6,000 year old piece of bog oak into a nice cuboid shape that we can turn easily on the lathe. Now, what are we going to turn it into, you ask? This here is a gouge used for carving, I'm fairly sure, and the handle is kind of cracked. Um, all along there, it's just kind of a gammy handle. I never use this tool anyway, but I want to start using it so it literally just pops off and we're going to turn out a lovely bog ash, bog oak handle for us. Enjoy. <laughs> Right, I'm uh, pretty happy with that now. Again, not perfect. Kept on breaking on me. I do like this kind of pattern I put in here and here, three lines, but um, yeah, we'll take it out now and uh, take it onto the bench. So here it is now after its restoration. Hello and welcome to this Sunday live. We're here in the new workshop. So it's um, the following morning now. Got this uh, chisel, looking nice and well. Oh, I had a radio interview this morning and it went alright. Uh, apologies for the technical issues here, um, you're sounding much clearer coming through the lines. I forgot bollocks was one of them words you can't see on radio, so I said that one time. I started I suppose about two years ago under the name Captain Busy Bollocks and uh, I kind of ran with that for a while. But other than that, I answered a few questions and it went very well. I ended up going live about ten minutes later than we thought we would just because we had a few technical difficulties. but. Uh, Seems to be working all right. It's just got noon now. I have my bag here with the old laptop in it. And I must edit a few photos that I took on Saturday night. So this Saturday was my last official night on the job. I'm looking to hire a new photographer if anyone is living around in the Cork area and wants a bit of work most Saturday nights. But it was just getting too difficult for me. Oftentimes for work I have to be up and around the country usually on weekends and it just makes it a nightmare because it's right there in the middle of the weekend that I have to come all the way back down to Cork and sometimes go all the way back up. It was a fun job to have, I've been there since I was 16. Um, great way to make my cameras pay for themselves. But um, yeah, it's time to move on. So I got all them photos sent off with minutes to spare. I'm meeting a lawyer in half an hour to talk about the contract lease for this place here. The lawyer went okay, now we're back at base here now. Mikey's repointing the stonework outside. You might be able to see his boots down there somewhere. But, um, we're packing up this deli number five. It's not going to fit in the box as is, so do you know what? I think we can leave the knob on, but I think the tote definitely needs to come off. So we'll take him off here. There we go, that's a, that's a nice fit. I wrote a little bit of a note that I'm going to fold up and slot away in here. I think this is a good point to end the vlog. I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon down here editing this on a TikTok I filmed last night. That's all there is. There isn't any more. <laughs>